Hello, hello. Alright, how's everybody doing today? Hey, what's up, thick boy? Thanks for subscribing for three months in a row. I'm glad you're keeping that foot long. What's up, Chokan? Who else is here? Chokan, thick boy, God. How's that? How's that iron going? Chairhorn, I'll hex. Alright, okay. So, let's go ahead and get started because I have a lot to unbox today. So, let's start with. Peel box. Whoops. <laughs> Nobody saw anything. <laughs> Let me. I need to buy some tape. Proper tape. It's actually kind of annoying. Hey, what's up, Juan Namili? Okay. Yeah, this is this is probably the worst part about unboxing some of these things because they all have addresses on them. And I don't have any big tape that can just block everything out, so I'm gonna have to the old Sharpie. You guys still see the address? I hope not. No, should be good enough. You'd have to be very dedicated to. To decipher these addresses. Last one has my own address on it. I mean, I've shown it a few times. Okay. We should be good for at least these packages. All right. So let's start with, this actually just arrived today. So this is fresh. How's everybody doing, by the way? It's nice to have Friday upon us. Dude, no one said it was your address. You didn't have to tell anyone it was your address. Okay, so first up, so an order from KVD fans. An order. Not sponsored. I bought this with my own fucking money. Kind of a bummer because I got it because it said there were only two left in stock. And then after I bought it, it went out of stock for a few days and it was like, oh, 30 back in stock. I'm like, what the fuck? Why did I buy it then? I mean, it's, it's kind of cool though, I guess. Hopefully. The saddest part is I actually ordered a... You know how KVD Fans has free shipping if you have an order of $40 or more? So, I had... These were $35 or so. It was something like that. $35 or $36. I don't remember. Something like that. And so I got a KBD Fans t-shirt, but apparently they ran out of large, so he just refunded me. But I still got the free shipping, so it's whatever. Okay, so box whites, nothing you've never seen before, right? Here's one. 
There is a box switch. This one just has a plain Jane spring, not mathematically selected, not the union of MX clues and the ever popular Topra. No, it's just, you know, nice little clicky switch, but more tactility than a fucking Hako switch. All right, so box whites, one of my favorite switches at the moment. So I always buy box switches to fill up orders to get free shipping. Hey, what's up, Zim? Long time no see. I saw you. I saw you on the other stream. You've been a naughty boy. Trying to flirt with the guest. So many KBD fans boxes from anything. Wait. Is it just a black KBD fans box? Sharpie fumes. Oh yeah. Hope you're doing well, says Zim1993. I hope you I hope you're doing okay too. How's the board, by the way? You've repainted it so many times. So yeah, think about copper powder coat. Oh yeah. Think about copper powder coat, but I think I'm just gonna go white. And then I'm gonna keep the copper powder coat for the the cock keyboard. Holy shit, this plate is fucking insane. Okay, so this is a carbon fiber plate, but it's not $378. But look at that. The thing is ridiculous. This is the craziest plate I've seen. Look at this thing. The fuck? Look at that. That's fucking insane. Holy. Alright, are we back? I don't even know what's wrong, man. Can you get... Okay, I think I'm back. Okay. Alright. What the fuck? <laughs> Not peerless design. Not injection molded. Hey, thanks, Dead Encryption. Three months in a row. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Carbon fiber. Okay, Zim says, I've gone for a very complex copper now, waiting for an answer. Oh, nice. Complex copper? Dude, I gotta see this, man. Okay, but yeah, I. Pfft. Yes, this is the KBD Fans plate that I paid for my own money. But it was cheap, 30 bucks. Now the question is, how well does it fit switches? But yeah, this is from this is from KVD fans Chokan. So it's just crazy. I gotta have to bring out the kitchen scale for this. Hey, it actually fits. Look at that. This will make for a very lightweight keyboard. Man, I'm actually pretty excited to use this. I need to think. Oh, oh man, look at that. That's pretty insane. Okay, look at this. Uh, I'm going to show you this. Okay. You see that? Okay, let's hope refocusing won't kill the camera. Okay, or kill the computer. Look at that. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, I'm trying really hard not to break this thing. But yeah, look at this. What in the world? Oh. Can you imagine doing this with an aluminum plate? Dude, that plate would get so fucked up. 
It's like a trampoline, basically. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty insane. I I I don't know. Oh shit, CPU. It's just crazy. It randomly shoots up to a hundred, and it just comes back down. Okay, so yeah, so I don't know what this will mean for the typing experience. I'm gonna assume it's gonna be great for tactile switches because of how soft it is. Yeah, that's quite a bit of give. So this is gonna be cool. See, there's not even really any much wiggle room even in where the backspace is, so that's nice. Man, this this thing is intense. I like it. I like it very much already. Okay, so now we're gonna weigh it. Let's see, what are the plates do I have? I have steel, I have aluminum. See, I'm not even focusing the camera or anything, and it went from 70 to 90%. I don't even know why. Now it's at 100. Okay, so let's weigh this thing in comparison with a steel plate. And where are my aluminum plates? An aluminum plate. I don't know, man. I like plate flex depending on what keyboard, what switches I'm using. That's how my plates arrive from. <laughs> okay, so let's start weighing these things. So let's start with the heavyweight. A steel 60% plate. So this thing is... 5 ounces. 4.9. 140 grams. Alright, this plate... 140 grams. Oh yeah, OBS has a new... Well, the one you're telling me about, and apparently OBS and Streamlabs. Streamlabs has a new version of, has a simplified version of OBS now, or something like that. Okay. And then an aluminum plate, aluminum 60% plate. Uh, same thickness. Okay, so it was 140 grams for this, right? Steel. And for aluminum, it is 140. So that's a lot lighter. That's a hundred grams lighter. 140, 42, and then carbon fiber with a bunch of cutouts. 14, 14 grams. That's mind blowing. Hey, what's up fish, nothing? Not cat anymore, not cat with the weird characters, right? The Chinese or Japanese or whatever. 14! That's 10% of the weight of a steel plate of the same size. Alright. What the? I thought it was 140 just now. 137 or... That's weird. See, it's 10%. That's fucking bonkers.
Yeah, same thickness and everything. If you want to look at that, see? But yeah, this is crazy. So you need 10 of these to weigh as much as one of these. Because, you know, NMF, you need all the help you can get. But yeah, that's insane. Okay, so a steel plate. Pretty solid. Holy shit, that hurts. Really thin carbon fiber. My god. So it's it's not easy to it's not that easy to flex it this way. But this way, super easy. Because there's a bunch of cutouts here, right? And you can twist it easily as well. Yeah, I am very excited to use this thing. So I'm gonna build a PC mount build and I'm gonna build one with the, this thing. And then I actually have another carbon fiber plate that I can test against this one. Aluminum. So yeah, so. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Hey, what's up, Rand's Pones? I know. So if you just tuned in, we weighted against a 60%, uh, a steel 60% plate. Guess how, guess how they compare. Wait, is there a bag for this? I think so, right? mad okay and now we got that done carbon fiber and hopefully the computer doesn't crash anymore then let's do the lewd vintage blacks so this all these switches were these switches were lubed by thick boy he's in chat so not really moment of truth because I can't tell you how good or bad they are just from testing them like that I need a I need to put them on the keyboard So it's got switch films as well, polycarbonate films, I believe. So as you can see, it's got some pinkish films on there. Let's try to focus without crashing the CPU. Pretty nice, the switches. Lude Vintage Blacks, always a good look. It's all black, pretty nice. This shit's making me so paranoid. Lubed, we'll find out. Okay, so this one feels kind of different. Okay, you can hear that. Okay, so here's one, and then here's another.
Well, we'll find out when we put them on a on a keyboard because this is kind of this is not a very fair test, honestly. But I am concerned about the ones that like the one that I showed just now. So we'll find out. <laughs> Got the camera. Got the camera. Wait, Chokan, you haven't tried Vintage Blacks? Oh, no. Yeah, so we'll find out about this. This one's going on a... Oh, shit, CPU usage going up. This one's going on a Southpaw. It's a pretty cool keyboard. It's gotten delayed because of the PCB and Chinese New Year. So once that arrives, it's going to be pretty cool. It's got a nice layout. And it's actually very cheap for what it is. So, I don't know how good it'll turn out. Alright, so. Now for, I believe this is a KBD pad. So it's a numpad macro pad from KBD fans. I got, I actually bought two of these for myself. So I don't know which version this is. I don't know if this is the V1 or the V2. I could even be mistaken. It could just be something else. So I don't know. I did not check the package. Also, if you're wondering what happened to my knife, remember how I had a nicer knife? Yeah, so... When I was at the airport, going to LA, going to, I was going through TSA, I got stopped because like the absolute idiot that I am, I forgot that I had a knife in my bag. Yep, so I had to toss that knife. $30, right down the drain. Yeah, he was like, do you have anything, any, you know, sharp or dangerous objects you want to declare? I'm like, nope, I've got nothing. Are you sure? Oh, fuck. Yep. So that was exciting. Okay, so we've got... Stabilizers that come with the KVD pad. I'm gonna assume they're fake and sure enough. They are fake fake As they can be All right, if you just look at the stabilizer bottom, you can see yeah, that's not the look of a genuine stabilizer And if you look at the top as well Yeah, look at the top so I'm gonna show you a genuine one. All right, it's a genuine on my left. Okay. So if you look at the post in the front, this is where they clip onto your God damn it. There we go. Okay, so for genuine, you can see it's got a split post, right? Compare it to the single post on the right side, that's the fake one. See, it's just flat, it's just one piece of plastic. Whereas on this one, it's two lines. So this is genuine, this is fake. It's one way to tell. And then for the inserts, you can see, so clip the genuine inserts. You look at that, that's the shape of it, right? And then fakes, you can see, that's the way you look. So fake, 
genuine. Yes, chat, genuine indeed. Okay, so we're not using these stabilizers, probably just gonna pop them. Hey, what's up, Devness? Okay, so we've got some Xylence in here. So more focusing. There we go. Okay, so these are heavier Xylence. I believe these are set. I want to say 78, but I'm not sure. Feels like 78. Ah, listen to that silent, truly silent switch. So quiet, so smooth. Oh, it's like old people having sex. There's a lot of creaking and popping. Okay, so one thing I am concerned about is that he shipped the switches just on top of the the numpad, and so it poked a few holes in the Ziploc bag, as you can see. So hopefully, it didn't damage the the pad. Okay, so right off the bat, I can say that the top and bottoms don't match 100%. You can see that on camera. You see how the top is glossier than the bottom? Center USB. Feels nice, though. And you can see quite a bit of streaking. So, you know, don't expect... Great anodizing, it's cheap. This thing was 80 bucks, including PCB. So don't expect too much. It comes with random caps. I, I don't know why they do that. And screws. So yeah, so this is the KVD pad. So we can weigh this thing as well. I'm not coming with feet. Don't know if I have any left. Okay, so this thing is 422 grams. So a lot heavier than the carbon fiber plate. Yeah, so that's the KVD pad. This thing is supposed to match the KVD-8X, which is kind of cool. And I got the V2. The V2, the difference is that it has a two, it has two cuts instead of just one. So you can fit two switches or a 2U over here. So you can put a backspace over here, which is pretty cool. What's up, Hammer Brother? What is up? What the hell, big difference? Wait, what's different? The silence or what? What are we talking about? Oh, you're talking about the color? Yeah, that's a big difference, isn't it? Look at that. Yep, yep, yep. It's pretty, it's pretty obvious, even in person. This is also why I don't like just having a simple boring seam because if the anodizing doesn't match perfectly, then it just looks bad. But yeah, no, this is, this is not shipped from KVD fans. This is shipped by 
someone who wants me to build this thing. So he got it from KBD fans first and then he shipped it to me. that this weekend okay so oh shit I forgot about the oh these are the feeder here forgot about the numpad ah uh, PCB I mean forgot about the PCB whoops 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 okay I'm gonna test it real quick hopefully it's programmed plugging it in uh, that's not good. Oh, I guess it's four because I wonder if there's a boot map over here. Probably shouldn't pull it up. Okay, but only four of them light up. I'm pretty sure it's because it's not programmed to have six. So if I just go into boot mapper and I set it to six, it should light up. Okay. I would test it, but I probably shouldn't because we're at 99% CPU usage. So, we are about to crash in any time. It's so annoying. I need to find out what it is. Okay. So, I'm bad and heat. Okay. Oh, I have task manager pulled up. Dude, I, I know. I I know. How do you think I know what the CPU usage is? I have I have that thing pulled up. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm using OBS to capture. It has to be something to do with OBS settings cause it didn't really happen until after I updated the OBS a few weeks ago, I want to say. Yeah, it's pretty strange. I know. Memory is completely fine. We're still running at just 16% memory. Okay. And what else am I unboxing? So M65A Cosmos. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna unbox the an M, another M65, but before I do that, I'm gonna put this on a separate stream. So we're gonna end the stream real quick and we'll be back in about a minute. So that they'll be uploaded as separate VODs. The thing is, I can't use a capture card because this is, I'm streaming off of one PC over here. I, yes, I know. I have a capture card over here. So, yes, I have thought about it. Right? Right? And if I do want to use this, then I need to have both my PCs pretty close so that... I can stream off my main rig instead of this streaming PC, but that's not gonna happen right now because my main rig, if I wanna plug it in, it'll have to be at least like a 50 foot cable, almost 75 feet. So that's not gonna happen. And so yeah, maybe maybe after I move, I'll, I'll put, I'll make this into a full-time streaming PC, but for now, no. Okay, so I'm gonna end the stream. And we'll come back in about a minute so that we have a different title and stuff. Well, USB capture card, plug your camera into it. Uh, 
I mean, I'm using a cam link right now. So it's HDMI to USB. I'll, I'll, I'll restart the stream and we'll talk about that.